Sorry. We're in the gray column, okay? We got two weeks left. We're gonna finish strong. Heavy triples this week, okay? You are more than prepared for it. You are ready to go. If you need a modification, come talk to me, but the majority of you guys will be able to handle and will be prepared for this. Heaviest, most competitive games of the year, you're going in the strongest possible. My name is Kinsey Probst. I'm a strength and conditioning coach here at IMG, and I've been here for four years. Knee up, toe up, reach diagonally, knee up, toe up. Good. So over the years I've been here, we've got a more unified approach looking at building both the boys and the girls program side by side and in tandem. The very foundational level is where is the student athlete right when they walk in through our doors and how do we get them just a little bit better. Drive diagonal, there we go. Hips up high, good. So the game of soccer requires a multitude of abilities to happen all at once. And different positions are gonna need different qualities. Holistically, if you're wanting to develop a program, you want to have an idea and identity, meaning from a culture standpoint, this is what we do as a program, as a soccer program. From every developmental group, meaning from U14s and you're going up in level, we have a kind of a unified, this is our active dynamic warm-up, this is how we do things. Almost like a micro-dosing per day, and then start incorporating that every day, you start developing a total athlete from a physical standpoint. Feel your lower abdominals contracting, that's what I want you to focus on. You're gonna go 50% charge all the way down, 75% effort on you. You're gonna go about 90%, but this is what I want you to focus on. I want you to drag your first two steps, and I want you to be aggressive. So if we're looking at building up from our youngest athletes to our oldest athletes. We don't expect our youngest athletes to be doing what our oldest athletes are doing. If they have really good movement patterns at a young age, it's a lot easier to do fun things later on as soon as they master the basics. Show up, put the work in, really high energy and good effort today. Same thing we ask of you guys all season long. Our athletes across the board U14 all the way up to U19, they have a very similar schedule. On Mondays we come in and that's a little bit more of a recovery day. Now what we do on those days specifically is geared towards the age of the athlete we're working with. Can you have fun? Can you break a sweat? Can you get your heart rate up? Good, control on the way down. Up and over, up and over, up and over. Tuesday, they'll come in, they'll lift weights. That's the furthest away from competition. Chin down, just a little bit, but not like looking down at the floor, right? So you don't want to get into the bottom of your squat, right? Because that's going to cause your back to start arching. And then you look at Wednesday. Wednesday should be a movement day where we're really emphasizing speed dynamics, really. That's the one thing that you can change and basically the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to movement development. We promote a holistic developmental model. We are an interdisciplinary team and we're all working together to make sure that our athletes here have the best experience possible. If everyone's on the same page, we have a program. Now kids kind of understand what to do from year U13s up until they're going to be here for the four years. So we try to get the athletes to understand that time is a resource. Being able to reach out to those specific individuals that they need a little bit more help in and get them to really try to buy into that whole experience.